Hello and welcome to uh, my Minecraft uh, introduction to booster station and uh, auto loading cart in Minecraft 1.5. Uh, this is just a simple thing. Let's uh, take a look at how it works. So it has an inbound track here as well, as well as an outbound track. It actually collects your incoming cart as you approach the station. Uh, the right hand side of this was really quickly done left-hand side was much more elaborate so here let's just take a look at how it works so this would be my inbound track I'd be traveling along here please ignore the booster rails uh, and you come up here and the cart stops you get out and a couple seconds later it continues on its way into the loading mechanism so let's uh, take a quick look around the back at how this works once again really quickly it just comes in bunch of uh, repeater delay switch, uh, switches, maximum delay to give yourself enough time to actually react, get out of the cart before it tries to shove it down the hole. Um, on the other side I've got two buttons, uh, call cart, which brings the cart up to the top, and launch cart, which sends the cart on its way. I could have done this with a timer as well, but usually when you're getting in your cart you want a couple seconds to like figure out what you're doing you could load up a you know cart with like materials as well not just a person so that's the way I did it anyway let's go around the top and I'll show you like just how much space this takes up because it's kind of important um, it doesn't need quite this much space this was just me uh, closing it off but up here as you can see there's the two different uh, uh, red mine or redstone wires for the two buttons uh, but let's take a look at underneath. It's more important. You're going to need some space underneath. So the cart comes in here, uh, and this booster track just launches up to here. Now there's a booster track right on the side there, uh, and you can see as it goes up, it stops on the booster track on the way down. So when we activate the redstone, it uh, drops and then heads back up here, thanks to the constantly on booster track. So. Uh, Let's go back up top, so it comes in here, goes out there. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of big. <laughs> but you can work on condensing it, this is more for the visual feel. So, press the button, it uh, activates the midstone wire, it goes underneath, toggles the track that it's on the angle that it's sitting on, which lets it fall, and then it comes up here and stops again. And then you toggle this, the wire goes underneath, and toggles this to launch your cart. Uh, you want to play with the length of the booster depending on what you need to do. Um, but let's take a look here real quick at how I quickly wired this up. It actually looks uh, blocked off, so let me just bust this block here. Um, let's go around top, take a look. But uh, assuming you know how redstone works, there's just a simple activator and when you power the, put power to the back, it just turns on like that and activates the entire track. So it's a nice way of hiding your track wires so that you can't, uh, you know, you don't mess around and see them. Um, oops, didn't mean to go in there, but uh, yeah, it's nice and compact because it's mainly housed underground, so you could build this into the side of a, you know, cavern inside your mine quite easily. You just need a little bit of space below. Uh, so you can see back here, I'll also get some light going here, because uh, I didn't uh, actually put enough light down here to see what we're doing. Uh, basically we've got this redstone wire coming down from uh, upstairs, there's an inverter here that inverts the signal so that it's constantly off until you press the button, and uh, that's what powers the uh, call cart button. That's what. Uh, it to come so once again let's just uh, take a look it's nice and clean on the front which is something that I like uh, it looks kind of professional you know most things hidden you can adjust them anyway I hope you liked my video and yeah enjoy 